make a bowl gotta be better. I got my glass bowl up here and put it in. Now it's going to play, but I can't spread it like that either. Cranberry, make a cranberry sandwich. Mm -hmm. Bring the other chair out your car, you. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll pour it in here. All right, the Southwest Chop South. Yeah. So that's what it'll be. I need over there. Wait for more people to come on. Hmm? I, need some, I think I need some pepper put in it too. Yeah. I need some white pepper. Hello.
Hello. Hello. Please let's say hello. Mm -hmm. Hello, yeah. everybody. How are you? How is everybody doing today? I just come to visit with you all a short while today. Uh, and I'm gonna uh, while I'm doing this, I will be making a, a chicken cranberry salad. So I'm still cutting up a few little things while I'm while I'll be on, okay? So this is what I'm preparing with. Okay. Okay. So I gotta cut up my eggs. All right. I hope everybody's well today. And I hope everybody's got a little bit cooled off because we've got a little, uh, the temperatures are going down a little bit. So I hope it's been a little help for people and it's been so hot. So maybe you all will be able to cool off a little bit now. Hopefully you will. Meet your mom say, hey, Miss Lena and camera lady. Hope you are well. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. A little bit tired today, but now, as usual, I'm all out running around every day. So, but other than that, thank God I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Okay. I hope you are too, Mitch. Hope you're doing quite well today. I'm glad you had time to tune in for a few minutes. I'm trying to get this uh, salad that I'm preparing. So, I'm kind of be looking at the camera. Plus, I'm going to have to cut up my eggs to get them ready. So, and the rest of the items that I have here are ready. So, I hope all is well. I hope you've had a nice week so far, Meech and Long. Hope so. I hope everybody's been well this week, hopefully. Yes, ma'am, a little bust, but I'm... Listening, yes, ma'am, I have. Well, good. Chocolate Capricorn said, well, the bad out there, she can't stay. Uh, the weather? Uh-huh, Chocolate Capricorn said the weather's bad. Oh, she's uh, driving a police. No, she said the weather bad, she can't stay, probably so. Okay. All right, Chocolate Capricorn. She's, okay, hello she's anyway. Ahead. I'll tune in tomorrow. Maybe the weather will be better tomorrow. Love you guys, the ones that can't stay. I appreciate you just saying hello. With that one minute or one second, I understand if you're driving, the weather's bad, so you have to be careful on the road, or even in the house, if the weather's still bad, because sometimes it's very dangerous for lightning striking or whatever. So thank you for coming by for a minute. Let's say hello. I appreciate you so much. Love you all that can stay in the ones that can't. So. She said, where is the hog head? Y'all must got a deep freezer. <laughs> yeah, it's in the deep freeze. It's going to be there for a few months, I'm sure. Because I don't think I'm going to use it. I just happened to find it. I don't think I'm going to use it before November. Maybe sooner, but I don't plan on using it until about the fall of the year. Just before the holidays sometime. That's what my plans are, unless I change them. But after I saw it, I couldn't resist the temptation. There's a big old head of uh, chocolate Capricorn. <laughs> I was like, ugh. Yeah. You never can tell. Whatever I can find, I'm going to use it. Going to be getting it to do a little something different. I want to do a little bit something different for my channel. So whatever I can find that I can do something different, I will get it at the time that she said that I, I may not use it right away but i'm going to get it anyway she said i love your channel very much you and your daughter do an excellent job thank you cap chocolate capricorn i appreciate you she i said, sure do and i try to do something different for it to be exciting the lord said thank you for your videos the weather is a little better you take care of you okay i'll share i will do it i'm glad that's, that's a dolores 
Okay, from the Lewis. Yeah, she said, thank you for your videos. The weather is a little better. Okay. You well, take care. She said, love you. It's a little cooler here. And I love you guys, too. Thank you for coming by to say hello. Thank you for the comments, Dolores. Everybody, I thank you for your wonderful yeah. comments. Thank you, everybody, for the comments. But Dolores, has <laughs> looking at all your old videos and could leave the comment. And I sure appreciate it. We sure appreciate that, Dolores. Yes. Um, I appreciate it so much. And I... I'm trying to get them all answered back. So if I haven't got around to answering yours yet, just keep waiting. You'll get an answer from a reply soon. It's kind of hard sometimes because it looks like everybody sends them in at the same time and they kind of get gathered up. And we don't get to them because there's so many things going down right now. And I don't have a lot of time to uh, get to them. My daughter don't have time to get to them either. So we just get to them as we can. I might try to get to them 34 tonight, and I might drop off to sleep because then I wake up at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, and I start trying to figure out my menus of what am I going to have for the YouTube or what am I going to make and whatever. So I end up with doing a whole lot of different things. So that's one of the reasons I may not get back uh, to doing, uh, to answering the replies. Or what you all are sending, but I do appreciate you all. So just continue to con continue to do it. They keep continue to keep keep them coming. The comments I appreciate it so much because that helps me a whole lot to know that somebody's interested in keep my and keep the channel going. Okay. It's got a on that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I thank all of the all, all of my new viewers that have come in. If it's any of you guys listening on there now, I may not know you by name yet, but I thank you for subscribing to my channel, and I appreciate you so much. And I love everybody that's subscribing to my channel, and I will be giving great. I thank you, and I will always you know give you a, a good comment for coming in. Just to say hello, because I appreciate you and I love you guys so well, so much. Until I can, I, like I said, I mean, never always remember you by name, but I do appreciate you, and thank you so much for joining, uh, uh, subscribing to the channel, and I hope you will continue to view all the old, all the all my old videos that I've had on there for over a year, because there are quite a few on there. And it might be something that be of interest to you that you might want to do in the future. So just tune in and when you have time, just kind of go through there and see what you can find. Because I don't know, there's going to be a whole lot more that I hope to get up in the next few days. And I'm going to try to get out as many as I can. I don't know how many I'll be able to get out. Because some days I'm honestly, goodness, too tired to do it. But we and then my daughter and she get tired and we all get tired. So, so but we are trying to get as many out as I can every day. So now, all right, I'm getting ready to make uh, a chicken salad, uh, cranberry chicken salad, and I've started with uh, my uh, the southern what is uh, southwest. The Southwest chopped salad mix. Okay, uh, the chopped salad mix. Okay, and I'm get, I'm going to be using. I only had one can of chicken breast, and I if I had had time, I didn't have the time. I would have just cooked the real chicken, but it was going to take me too long when I thought about what I would fix because I was trying to fix something quick that wouldn't take a long time tonight. So, and I started rather late, so that's. Another reason, but I will be using that. And let me put the crackers over there for later. Okay, so I have this mix, and on this uh, the Southwest mix that is will be it has uh, it also have uh, corn and also cheese and all this all this other extra stuff in it. But you might not use it. She might not use because she using the cranberry in it. Huh? You might need. You might just need to use the cranberry. Though, so that that mix. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, that's what I had thought about using. Was going to use. I didn't know this mix was in there. 
I never have tried that salad before. And I was just, I had, I just thought this was just going to be the salad. I didn't read it. I just picked it up. So I thought this was what it was going to be. But I found out that it had extra stuff in there. When it said kit, I didn't pay any attention. But now for us to the cranberries, I'll be putting this in also. So I'm slicing it down a little bit so you can see it. And this is a can of gel uh, cranberries. That's enough right there. Okay. I don't have, like I said, I don't have but that one can of uh, chicken breast. And so I will be putting in um, the Hellman mayonnaise. I'm not putting a lot in it. Just a very little bit. You know, because mayonnaise and uh, salad dressing usually turn to water quite quick, so I have to be very careful with how much I blend in. And I think two tablespoons will probably be enough. If I find out it's not enough, well, I can always add more. So, but right now, I'm going to start with the two tablespoons, okay? Okay, so now. I'm going to put, be blending that in. I'm going to put that back over there. And I, okay, I have onion powder, black pepper, garlic powder, and parsley. The parsley will go on last. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't want to stand up for me, but anyway, I think I have it going in. Okay. All right, so this is very delicious if you want to try something quick without putting the, uh, the fire on, the, except for boiling your eggs. That's about the only thing that it takes the heat to do. But doing that now, it's a little bit cooler, so it, it won't make too much difference. But I just didn't have time to, to really cook a real chicken breast, which I have some, but I just didn't take the time to do it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of stir this up in there a little bit. And as I stir it up, then I'm going to add my garlic, onion. This is onion powder right now. a little bit because it's not that much. So okay, I'll drop my chop down. I may I may close it out a little bit because I may have to have a little bit more right now. I'm gonna put a little white pepper. I did show you that I was using the canned chicken breasts. Okay. A little garlic powder. This is garlic powder with the parsley, but I'm going to put the parsley on top. So I don't have to have very much of anything because it's just not it's just not a lot in the bowl here. So. Okay. I'm going to kind of blend this in. Now I'm going to add eggs as I go. I'm going to add my eggs as I go. And then, okay. And eggs and onions here. So I'm going to put a little bit in at a time. I 
think I <laughs> used a little bit bigger bowl too. Cause I gotta put the. Uh, I might, that might be in there. It might be okay. Never mind. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the rest of the eggs in. Since I didn't have very much uh, chicken, I decided to add a few more. I have about five eggs here, so. And the eggs wasn't, they wasn't very large. So I'm hoping that this will be uh, enough that uh, will blend in well. With the other stuff that I have, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to put some of my cranberry sauce in. This spoon right here. I'm going to taste it to see if I have everything that I need in it to see how it's coming out. It doesn't take a whole lot to do anything with. It's very, it, but I do like it better with, uh, I don't know about the canned chicken as well as I do the regular chicken. Okay. Very good. I'm going to put the rest that I have cut up at the bottom because most of this is on top. It's not very much going at the bottom, so. But this is very good. And if you don't want to use uh, uh, the mayonnaise, you can use some whatever other kind of uh, uh, salad dressing or Miracle Whip or whatever you would like. But this is very delicious. So now I'm going to uh, put the salad on the tray. And after I put the salad on the tray, then I will cover it with the with the chicken so, that I made up here. Okay. So now this is the tray, and I'm going to be putting it on. Here. Okay.
So, man, I'm going to blend all this out. Okay. I'm going to be kind of spreading it down a little bit. Real good. I'm going to be putting my salad on. I'm going to be dropping a little bit of salad all around. Mm-mm. Okay. Anyway, I have to it on this end, so I'm going to put a little bit down there. So, okay, so if you want to put it on your plate, you can do that also. So, this is the way that it will be looking. And then you can put your salad on your plate, on around your, or uh, around the other salad that I've made here. So, I hope you all will look at this and if you might enjoy it. It's very simple and it doesn't take very long to do it. Because I did everything except the eggs right in while I'm on today. And it's very good and it's very nourishing also. So therefore, you'll be able to uh, get it all, all together, so. Okay. And if you'd like, you can also and extra, um, very good, yeah. extra cranberry to it. Very good. Around. That's just very good. Very, very good. Okay. Okay. Put another little piece around on this end. And I need to put a piece in the center. Okay. All right. So that's it. For the um Bell P say hello Mama Lena and you too. How you doing? Tonight, just got baby? a notification. Everything looks great. She said, is that tuna? Uh, no, it's chicken. It's canned chicken. I didn't have, I was going, and chicken breast. It's white chicken breast. So this is not a tuna salad. This is a cranberry chicken, a chicken cranberry salad. So this is made out of, out of uh, canned chicken and cranberries. And it's very good. And I know that when I'll try it, you will really like it because it's very good. It's very good. So I uh, hope everybody's doing quite well tonight. So. I just that was just something that I but that I did quite quickly tonight and it took a little it didn't take that long. It takes about fifteen minutes to do it. That's about it. If you can have all, most thing of you have to have, have your eggs boiled. That's the main thing. She said yummy. It is yummy. It's, it's good. real good, Bell P. Yeah, it's very good. Very yummy, everything I'm fixing. I'm trying to make everything yummy so everybody be interested in doing something quick and don't take a lot of time to do it. And it doesn't take a lot of money either. So I would say, honest to goodness, this meal, I don't know what it, how much it takes, but it doesn't take very much to do it. 
It's just some. And mostly eggs is, is what is your biggest problem. And that's the that's the most money that will be will be eggs anyway. anyway. And I use this is the salad mix that I used also. Uh, the chopped salad, the Southwest chopped salad. You can buy it at Sam's also. So, so it's very good. All right. Um, all right. So, Bell P, did you look at the video with the that you are? I think you or Marlon, one of y'all requested uh, with the canned meat she made with the kids. It was so yeah, it was very down. funny. Put that down on top there for a time being. On the end down. This is on the end. It's really good. Yeah. I would like to move it out. And um. So um, it's very good, and uh, I think you guys will enjoy it a lot. She said, my taste is changing as I get younger, <laughs> and I don't do as much cooking as I used to, so this is something I, I she can enjoy. Bell P said that. Yeah, okay, tell her she can either, if she don't want to use the chicken, canned chicken breast, you can also use a tuna, and just make it with the cranberries, you know. Now, you can, if you decide that you like the whole cranberry better than you do the gel cranberry. <coughs> Either one of them can be used, so just help yourself. I'll just get you a bowl. That'd be good with some. Um, that would be good with some some chicken uh, cooked from the some boiled chicken that you cook yourself or baked chicken. That would be real good. It's good. It's real good. Okay, I'm trying to get a little, a little bowl to put it in, so. Okay. Give me one of those spoons over there so I can get rid of it. No, I didn't, DJ. I missed that one. I'd love to see it. Okay. I'm used to chicken. Yeah, go back and look at it. It's so funny. She had the kids taste all the stuff you were saying. One of your, your sister was saying the potted meat and, and the sardines and all of that. She did the video. It was so funny. She called your name out on there, too. You in Maryland. We couldn't figure out which one. We forgot which one has, has suggested it. But anyway, she uh, she called both of y'all names out on the video. That was a good idea. Thank you. Tim said, hey. Huh? Tim said, hey. Oh, I guess he's off tonight, Ernie. How are you doing tonight, Tim? This is another very good dish for you to make if you want, if you like uh, salads. Because it's a good uh, cranberry salad made out of chicken. You can either make it out of tuna. He said, hey, Miss Lena. He just got on. Okay. I missed you last week, Tim. So he said he's good. All right, good. You're probably tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he said, yes, he needs some salad. Huh? He said, yes, he needs some salad. Okay. Well, it's very good. Try to make this one, Tim. I think you will really like it. It's very good. Like I said, I made it out of canned chicken breast, but you can also make it out of tuna. So it doesn't matter which one, whichever one you prefer. Uh -oh. It's very good. I'm making a mess. Trying to get some more. I hope everybody has a good week so far. He said, yes, but I made roasted okra in a nice snack. I would try salad. Looking good. 
Okay. Ooh, roasted okra sound good. Mm. He said he made roasted okra. That sound good. Oh, yeah. That sounds real good. So if you like um, cranberries in the salad that I made, it's very good also. You want to try it to see if you like it. You might. Uh, everybody don't prefer different things, you know, but it's a little bit different. But if you like cranberries, you'll love it. Bad piece, I, I love okra, but she never had it toast roasted. Mm hmm. Bad piece say she love okra, but she never had it uh, roasted. Mm hmm. Yeah, I have some here now. I bought the pickles, but I never tried them yet. I know everybody said uh, um, the okra, the dried okra. And Bucky's is so good. Everybody says how good it is. We haven't tried it yet. But everybody keeps saying how good that dried okra at Bucky's is. I don't know if y'all have a Bucky's where y'all are, but that's a gas station. Everybody said they, they okra is so good. The dried okra. I'm in a jar, big jar. I don't think I'm looking. Tim said when it's roasted, it's not so slimy. I if I ever had it roasted. You know if I ever have you ever had roast uh, okra roasted? No. I haven't tried it ro roasted at all. Because most of the time when I'm cooking okra, I love it in the gumbo. And I always have it with tomatoes. But I've never tried it roasted. I've never tried it roasted at all. You well, definitely have to try that, Tim. That sounds so good. But I love okra and, uh, and beets. Yeah, this is so good. I can't even stop eating it. Well, this would be good with some grapes and all kind of stuff be good in here too. That is so good. Because I've been not eating no more. Save some for somebody else. Did everybody press the like button? Bell P say, I have a big bag of cranberries in my refrigerator. I haven't seen any buckets here in Georgia. I like slimy. I like slimy and not slimy. LOL. Also love beets. Okay. So we see our first cranberries. Mm-hmm. I like okra like that too, uh, Bell P. Sometimes I like the slime and sometimes I don't. It don't matter to me. I just like okra. I'm easy anyway. My little kid, I used to, I used to hate okra, beets. Everything. The only thing I used to like was greens and string beans. I used to love me some collard greens. When we were little growing up, she cooked more turnip greens and mustard greens than anything. Them two greens, I don't. I like uh, turnip greens, but I do not love mustard greens at all. And she cooked a lot of mustard greens when we were growing up. I used to love them, man. 
after everybody were eating mustards and stuff, they decided to start eating collards. And so now, I don't even buy mustard greens anymore. And that's a good thing because I never liked them. <laughs> I didn't like the way they smelled when they were cooking. Nothing. But I like turnip greens though. Turnip greens are good. This is so good. Mm. So, so good. And it's very healthy. I hope it's cool out everywhere you all are. And we've had so much drought in there and no rain for so many days here in Texas. We were glad to get some rain. Bear P said, Wow, the same way as a little girl. Only ate greens was in string beans, as we call them. Yep. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like vegetables. Then like squash, then like no part of no vegetables. Now I love every kind of vegetable. I like black eyed peas. And too many vegetables I don't like no more. My little girl, I didn't like my black eyed peas. None of that stuff. Showed in like red beans. And I'm glad we didn't have red beans a lot. We had red beans every now and then. I couldn't stand them. And she did cook them. I put a pound of sugar on them to eat them. I like them a little bit better, but not that much. Red beans are something I can do without, really. Tim said, Well, I cook them with uh, like with, uh, meat in them and chili powder. Chili beans. I know, but really. Tim so I just spread okra on sheep pan and put olive oil, salt, pepper, and curry powder in some cayenne pepper. 15 minutes in the 400 fifth oven. That sounds good. Yeah, that sounds real good. It's spicy then. <laughs> Bell P laughing. Okay. Bell P said LOL. <laughs> girl, for real. I did not like vegetables when I was a little girl. I wonder if he eat that by himself or did he have meat with it? No. Probably just ate it by himself. That's what he said. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, she didn't cook a lot of uh, red beans with a little. She could, uh, most of our dinners had two meats. He said, not so much spicy. Uh -huh. He said, not so much spicy. Yeah, most times she cooked, she always cooked two meats and stuff. When she got them red beans, I was not a red bean lover, no. I just like them a little tad bit now, not much. <clears throat> but I just put so much. But everybody ate them, so. And I always took red bean little parts of them, so they were always gone, so. Yeah, my brothers and everybody ate them, but I ate them, but I used to didn't like them. Not at all. Bell P said, I have to try that, Tim. I have fresh okra in my freezer. Yeah, we're going to try that too, Tim. That sounds real good. We definitely have to try that. I wonder where you found some good fresh okra. Did you use frozen? I haven't thought any good fresh okra here at all. All the okra is so bad and dried up. You can't, you can't find any good okra. So maybe up there where maybe where he is, they find good fresh okra because they haven't found any. I had um subscribe asked me about frying okra last year. And okra was like always four or five dollars. But it was always hard and dried up. And I went back on four or five okra and I already already dried up and hard. 
Uh, Bear P said the farmer's market in Decatur, Georgia is where she got hers. Okay. Maybe you had to go to the farmer's market to get some good okra. Like they all in, in the grocery store here. I don't know if the farmer's market is not. Never know though. Never, never know. Here you go, see. They might have some good old okra. But I used to like to go there and get my uh, this time of year. Watermelons were good. All the honeydew milk were good in the market. And now, and, and extreme beans were delicious. Oh, they were good. Yeah. They used to have a, um, they had a tiny string bean, and then they had a big, thick one. But any one that you buy it was always tender once you cook them. I don't know about that in the store because I don't even trust them in the store right now. Because they don't look that good. Tim said, yes, the produce good here. He said the produce where he lives is good. He go to the Amish farm. It's real cheaper on the Amish farm. Okay. Oh, yeah, I imagine. I just imagine it would be. <clears throat> okay, we got no Amish farms nowhere close around here in Dallas. Um, oh. No, the closest one I know is in Oklahoma. Yeah, but I, mean, I haven't even seen Amish. It might be one. It may be one here. Because they were talking about trying to do it. Those almonds, they, they really, I sure do like their chocolate candy. I know that. They have very good chocolate candy that I miss them. They said they're selling. Very good. And they, why they're growing their own food makes a difference. Tim, talking about if meat keeps getting going up. The squirrels are going to be running to the woods. <laughs> yeah. They better get... Oh, yeah. They better run to the woods because somebody's going to try to chop them up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they about those, those squirrels get up in their tree so fast, baby, you can't make them up there. They're going to be back like it was old day. Go get you some... Get you a, try to get you some 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 uh, wild animals, coons and, ra and coons and rabbits and everything. Yeah, people with pet rabbits better watch out. <laughs> I think they're better. Cause people are gonna be after everything before it's over. Pet rabbits, the pet peas, everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gotta be after everything that's good. So anything that's funny that they can make meat got meat out of, they'll be doing it. <laughs> Eat a bell pizza. Yeah, I think I'd rather go vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> you never had rabbit or nothing, uh, um, bear pee? You never had rabbit or... Um... I never put my parsley on top. Because <laughs> I didn't need to anyway, I guess. Yeah, rabbit do taste like chicken. I had rabbit stew before. I had I rabbit stew. I love to cook rabbits. We had rabbits when I was coming. I had rabbits in the backyard and kill them, knock them in the head. And boy, you talking about some good gravy with that rabbit? Oh, my Lord. On them hot biscuits, my goodness, Lord have mercy. It would be out of sight. And the meat tastes just real sweet, just real good. Bell P said, yes, I had. She had rabbit and venison. Yeah, I had venison, too. I love venison. Then I've had buffalo meat. Buffalo meat is good. Remember what we had, buffalo? That's venison. No, venison is uh, the deer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. We had I buffalo forgot. meat. Yeah, I forget. <laughs> Leecham Long said, no, thank you. <laughs> I got you, Meacham. Mm-mm. That was good, though. I had that rabbit stew. I like the rabbits. It's okay, but I didn't care too much for... Um, I, the deer meat is not bad, but I didn't care too much for the, um, the bison meat because I didn't really like it too well. Because I bought a lot of me. it, but I didn't care for it. Yeah, we bought a, almost a whole freezer of bison meat, all kinds. It was bacon and sausage and steaks. It was everything. Hot dogs, everything. Mm 
Yeah, you know, it was good. It just lasted too long. Maybe it wasn't. I guess we used to, you know, used to have the beef taste and it used to the pork taste. But then when you add another taste, and I could stand the deer because the deer season was down like in November. And I always got it like that during that time of the year. And it wasn't so bad. But when you have to have it, when you have the Benson the whole year round, they had to, from the bacon to the weenies and everything else. Every part of the Benson, they had some of it. Of the bison, rather. And all that bison meat wasn't that good. So, uh, I, you know, it's okay. I say it like this. If you're used to that taste, it's good. But if you're not familiar with that taste and you try to do it at that time when we did have it, you know, I could, we could kind of put salt and everything on it. It wasn't so bad. You didn't have to use that. Out. But after a while, after over a year, we had so much of it. Because I got, a, I think we got a half a side of uh, 150 to 200 pounds or something of that sort. And it was all cut up in different parts and it was all stayed out and it was in the freezer. And then, you know, you mix your, you mix your other meat that you're eating, the beef and the pork and whatever. And then you go back to that. Because you try to eat it up and try to cook it up. But it seemed like it was too much of it for us to cook up. Tim say, deer hamburger good for spaghetti sauce. Yeah, it is. I had barbecue. We had barbecue deer in ground deer. We had deer sausages before. Yeah. And Bell P said, I only had bison burgers. Very expensive. <laughs> yeah, bison is. Yeah, they're very expensive because we had the whole, like I said, we had 150 pounds or 200. And, um, but it just lasted too long. Miss Till said, you got to put some sweet baby rays on bison. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I don't want any more. <laughs> I, once we got rid of that, I don't know if I I wouldn't I don't want any more because it lasted too long. But that was a lot though. We, yeah, like I said, we had it almost. Uh, we had ground meat. We had yeah. hot dogs and everything. Meat. Everything. We had the sauce, smoked sauce. We had everything. I mean, bacon and all. Red so. big old boxes came in. Yeah. And we ordered it came in the mail about three big old boxes of meat. Yeah. Quite a bit. So, and it stayed. In, we kept it here for about. At least a year and a half, one so yeah. So we got tired every so trying to try to give it away or throw it away. Cause by that time it's gonna get freezer burn. I think and he showed didn't want any more of it. So I said, well, we don't have to order this anymore. No, I think we but do a know, lot of they, they, I mean, you know, I don't think he's he sell this stuff anymore on, on QVC. No. I don't even see it on that. Right? That's been several years ago. Yeah, I'm sorry, in, in two or three or four years. Mm -hmm. So I think they quit selling it. I think people kind of got tired of it. It was good, though. It really was. It was real good. When we first got it, I thought that was going to be the day. The bacon was real good. And they were always saying that, you know, it was low calories. Didn't have, it didn't have a lot of sodium in it. It didn't have a, They said it was healthy. That's why we didn't start it out with it anyway. But, you know, I don't know. I can't say whether it was healthy, unhealthy, or not, because you didn't eat it, eat it so much, and then it taste got to be something else, and you put a lot of spices, a lot of, a lot of different uh, spices in it to clean the taste, of, or you could eat it and make gravies and put a lot of onions and garlic and everything else in it. So, but we ate so much of it, and then finally gave some, gave a lot of it away, and then about after a year and a half, we threw the rest of it away. Cause it was just too much, and I'm sure it had been freezer burned by that time. And so anybody like it, you know, it's good, but it's good to, for a short period of time. But we just got too much of it at one time. Yeah, it was all right. If it had only lasted maybe three to six months, would have been fine. But when you got something lasts a year to a year and a half, it gets worried. You're not, you don't really care for it that long, except for the regular kind of meat you've been eating, which has been beef and pork all the time. So that's what makes a difference also. Beef, pork, lamb, stuff like that. I can kind of deal with, you know. I don't know if anything else. Uh, Bell P, you ever ate, uh, Tim, Bell P, y'all ever ate turtle? Y'all have ever had some turtle? I had some turtle soup before. The chef had made some and asked me to taste it. 
It was okay. It was an acquired taste, but it was okay. <coughs> Something he just don't like. TM said no turtle. <laughs> no turtle. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I know, Tim. I can't believe Tim said no turtle. I thought maybe you like this about anything, Tim. Bell P said no turtle yet. <laughs> oh, I had some because one of the chefs while I was working was making some turtle soup and asked me to taste it, and I didn't want to. But um, I tasted it. It was all right. <laughs> frog legs. He said frog legs. Yeah, frog legs are good. Frog legs are real good. Oh, kind of. No, it's a, it's a lot of things that, even though I cooked a long time, but there are a lot of things that I cooked that I wouldn't even taste. I didn't mind cooking them for someone else, but for me, I didn't, it wasn't a thing for me. So I had to, you know, just look at it and say, well, yeah, it looks like it's good. And I said, if I'm cooking it, they said, try it and see. Well, no, I didn't want to try it either. Just cook it like you cook it according to the recipe and forget it. So I'm, I didn't want to try everything. I just don't try everything because I don't like bad taste. And if it doesn't taste good, I don't want nobody to see me looking at it. I'm trying to chew it and it doesn't taste good. <laughs> Bell P say pole Kermit. <laughs> Bell P say pole Kermit. <laughs> pole Kermit the frog. <laughs> yeah, Kermit the frog, yeah. Yeah, so you know how they go. But I'm like this. Uh, I'll taste anything once and see if it tastes good. Because some foods you wouldn't even think taste good and they do. I don't know. Like uh one of the shelves said one of the shows I went to it made some um some kind of octopus too. Had a little bit of tiny, tiny octopus in. I made a lot of them. And he was like, Come on, DJ, I taste this. And I was looking at the soup like, What? And I tasted it. She was and I ended up asking for another bowl. It was so good. After I got over the initial looking at the little all the little tiny octopuses in the soup, I was like, Ooh. But it was pretty good though. Well, I don't, I don't think I like it because I didn't like the smell, so I couldn't eat it. Mm. I, so just, I like trying different food because you never know what you like. Yeah. I don't like just stay in the box all the time. Tim said, here we we have sheep barbecue so good, but our rage is high. He said they have sheep barbecue. Yeah, it's good, some, but it's outrageous. I had some sheep barbecue a long time ago because they used to... Uh, Go out there and they would. I don't know. Uh, somebody had those sheep, and they would kill them. And um, and they bought some of that meat somewhere. I remember tasting. It was kind of good too. It wasn't too bad. But I just had that one time. I remember one, just one time. It was barbecue too. It wasn't. It was barbecue. It was tender. Who that was? Latanya. Oh. Say hello, Miss Lena, DJ, and Chad. Hey, Latanya. Hi, Latanya. You're a little late coming in tonight. You must have had a busy day that time, yeah? Tim say mutton. You had mutton? <laughs> yeah, that's what they call a sheep. Oh, sheep mutton. Oh, okay. Yeah. Make it out of there. I don't think I never had sheep. I never had a whole lot of different stuff working at deep restaurants, but I think yeah. that's one I never had. They take that uh, that stuff, that, uh, the fat off of that, off of that sheep meat and make... Uh, you can put that in here to make your life sour too. A life soap, life sour, life soap. Yeah. I'm like, good Lord, that's a lot. Making life sour with mutton. No, no, you won't eat that. But okay. Save all the, uh, save all the grease from when you cook it. Latanya said, "How are y'all? We good, Latanya." She said, "She have her granddaughters." Uh -huh. No, Latanya, I didn't know you old enough to have no grandkids. Latanya said, "She have her granddaughters." She said, "She have her granddaughters." Oh, she have a granddaughter. Okay. I see a picture on on a TikTok. She don't look like she was young. I thought she was mid thirties or something. Really, okay. maybe like thirty three or something. Okay. I'm looking up pictures on TikTok, she have on there. Her granddaughter on TikTok. No, she said she have her granddaughter. I didn't think she was old enough to have grandkids. Is what I was saying. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought I she was not early or mid thirties. Okay. Well, you have to be no certain age to have grandchildren nowadays. Uh, Bell P said, I actually finally tasted goat meat. I've yet to try Carmara. Just don't like looking at all them little tiny circles, nor what it is. <laughs> and she said she'd had lamb. 
And she said she had lamb before. Yeah, I like Ollie. I love calamari, especially fried uh, BLP. It's real good. I, and, like, I love lamb. Yeah. I love lamb legs, lamb, lamb lamb chops, lamb everything. Yeah, goat meat is good, too. I love it. Like uh, curry goat and uh, carrot goat and uh, goat soup is good. I had both. I had all that. I love that. And Latonya said, girl, yes, and the grandson on the way. She said she 53. Girl, I know, I know you 53 from looking at your TikTok, your, your own video. You look like you was in your mid early 30s. You looking good, honey. Grandma said hello. Hi, Grandma. She like coming in. She must have been taking a nap. Grandma, were you taking a nap, girl? You too tough. You coming in later. Were you out just coming in the house? <laughs> Tim said he tried goat but didn't know it was goat. He said he'll stick to goat meat. Huh. I don't think Tim liked goat. He said he tried it. Didn't know it was goat. He said he'll stick to goat meat. Oh, we don't like goat meat? I don't think well, so. Sometimes, he uh, said he'll stick to goat milk. Goat milk, but not goat meat. Okay. <laughs> Grandma said she wish. She wish what? That she was asleep. That she was asleep? Yeah, you said she must have been asleep. She said she wish. Oh, she wish she was asleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know you must have had a busy day, Grandma. She said she had she her one year old today. Her one year old. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I guess you do. Has he gone home now? Maybe so. If he is, I know you're ready to go and lie down then. If that's the case, it's not going to be too long before it's going to be your bedtime. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Latanya said, Thank you. You, you talking. You definitely don't look your ass. Thank you, Latanya. That was, that was sweet. Uh, she said, oh, yes. He gone. Oh, well, that's good. I know she's happy then. She's ready to go to bed. And so I was going to, I, um, I tell him that I, I, I like, you know, I only, the only kind of the goat milk, goat meat that I like is when it's barbecued. And it's not so bad. If, if they barbecue it and make it tender for right now, some, it's the way they cut it. Will make it strange sometimes too. So it depends on who's cooking it and how they're cutting it. Also, sometimes you get where you chew, 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 and it's not going to work. <laughs> you have to chop it up real good. We need a snack tonight. Miss Lena, you got cake? Got what? Cake. He said, We need a snack tonight. You got cake? Cake. <laughs> no cake tonight, dear. I barely got something here fixed to throw together tonight. Because I almost did last Thursday night and didn't think throw together. But I kind of looked around here in about 30 minutes time and gathered up some stuff here to fix. Because I really didn't have anything prepared. Because it, like it looked like I ended up being out every day on Thursday and Friday. It looked like I'm always out doing things. And... When I get back, it's late, and then I'm tired from running around. And when I get here, I can't hardly think of what I could. Can I fix in a hurry? <laughs> Bell C said, Bell P said, I was deployed to Somalia when I was in the service. I saw too many goats and the whole goat skeleton lying around. Actually, a former co-worker of mine bought me <laughs> lunch and bought me stewed goat. Said she was in the military. She seen goats all the time. She was in Somalia. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> she said she felt bad not eating it since she bought since she bought it. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. That's she said she no goat. She had too many goats. Y'all pretty special like button. Appreciate it. Like I said, I mean goat meat is, is gotta be good because I would just sit up there and I watch people uh, it's very good. cook that goat meat on throw them on top of the grill or on top of them old pots and out there and cook them. Turn them over the whole thing and strip them down and all that stuff. And I just sit there and look at it, but I would, it would smell real good when they cooking. I might eat a bite or two, but I guess, I, you know, you think about how the goat look when he's walking around. Well, that's anything, because you eat cows, you eat chickens. I know yeah, it. And but, you don't think about a cow and a chicken when it's walking well, around. Well, the only thing about it, I remember the one that I'm talking about now. I saw that when they killed the goat. Now, it was okay. Now, now it would be okay with me to do it. But then, 
When I saw them with that gold and it's stripping down the oh, skin off of them, the hair off of them, and all that But stuff. you see them kill chickens too. When you and mother, you said your Yeah, mama. I did, but that was a chicken. It mm -hmm. wasn't no big old goat. <laughs> the goat wasn't that big, but they were, you know. Yeah. I just wasn't, you know, familiar with people killing animals that size, you know. You ain't never see and a cow was, get killed when you were little? Huh? You never saw a cow get killed when you were little? Yeah. Oh, and uh, my grandma and them live right down the street from a slaughter field. And so we go down there, a little piece. They used to, uh, they, they fumigated that thing, but you couldn't smell it, you know. Everything just smelled like Lord. <laughs> like you just smelled like they cooking Lord. That's all it would smell like. Like greasy Lord or something, you know. Tim say you ever make fudge. She made some fudge on her channel, uh, Tim. She got a fudge recipe on her channel. Make what? Fudge. Oh, uh, fudge uh, cookies and no, just fudge. Okay. She have a fudge recipe on her channel from uh, around Christmas time last year, uh, Tim. But she definitely gonna be making some more this year. That cookies and I everything. Guess. I bet. I guess I'm gonna be making all that good stuff. I don't know. He said Hopefully. his sweet tooth acting up. Uh -huh. He said his sweet tooth is acting up. Oh, his sweet tooth acting up. Need a sweet. <laughs> well, I know he need a sweet tooth is acting up because I be thinking myself today. I said, well, I maybe I make I had some uh, what you call this stuff? And then what I have? Uh, oh, uh, cinnamon rolls. I said I was gonna put them in the oven and cook the cinnamon rolls while ago. And I said, well, if I cook the cinnamon rolls, yeah, before we got this, before I did the salad, I was gonna do them, but I forgot about them because my uh, my daughter, my grandson, in here, and they were trying to do some stuff in here. In my way, so I never did get the oven on, and I never did take them out of the freezer. I said, "Well, that was going to be the dessert for the night. Was going to be the cinnamon roll, but I never did get them in the oven. I didn't cook them. I had them canned. I was going to make some, just eat them out from something. I don't, you know. Sometimes you don't. I get tired of cooking every all the time, so I have to buy something that's already pre-made that I can throw in the oven quick." He said, "He'll check it out." Huh? He said he'll check out your fudge recipe. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's real easy to make fudge. Yeah, it's real good. They're really good. I'm going to yeah, try to get some things made, but I'm hopefully by um, the holidays. I'm not going to make a whole lot of promises what I'm going to cook. I'll just cook as I go because I'm having a lot of trouble with my knees, and I don't know if they want to have, if I have to get a knee replacement or not. But I hope not. But anyway, I hope they'll be able to do something else. My standing is getting terrible, you know, lately, and I know when the weather's going to get bad. So I'm going to try to, I'm not going to promise, I'm just going to do whatever I can, whatever I get to. Because if I start promising and then I can't get to it, I would have made that. And I want to have anybody's mind that I'm going to get all these things done until I really find out what, what I'm going to have to go through with in order to get it done. So yeah, that's why I don't want to make... Uh, any special decisions right now but i will be trying to do these things in case i can stand on my legs and my knees really give me a lot of trouble lately and i know when the weather get bad they're going to be they're going to get it's going when the weather gets cold and everything usually uh if you have bad knees or arthritis or something of that sort it usually take a little toll on what you have to do and stand and get done so hopefully and i'm just praying that god will keep me going where i can stand up and do a lot of the things that I keep on do that I'm doing now and hope I don't have any any problems doing them later for the month that's coming up for the holiday season. So I I don't I'm not gonna make a lot of plans, but I'm hoping and praying that God will keep me free that I'll be able to do some of the things that I want to get done. Yeah, because they do replace you need you be down six weeks, so so hopefully, if I'm not going to make a big old issue on it, but I'm hoping and I'm praying that I will be able to do some things and that I did even last year uh, to redo them again, you know. Uh, Belle P said, we appreciate you, Mama Lena, for those needs. And she praying for your those needs and your overall health. Well, I, think, I really thank everybody's prayers for doing so because I'm supposed to go to the... Uh, orthopedic doctor on next Wednesday and then uh, 
I'll go from there to see what all what all they think I'm gonna have to get done or whatever. But you know, right now, I, I'm not in pain every day. I'm only in pain sometimes, but I'm never always in pain. It just comes and go, and I have a little pill I can take it, and I'm doing okay. But it does make my knees. I'm stiff, you know, in the knee and stuff like that. And uh, sometimes I'm doing good, but yeah, but I'm still say this. I'm very blessed because I'm not one of the people that have pain twenty four seven. So I feel like it. I don't know what they can do or what they might have to do, but I just want to be considered, and I don't want to uh, make a lot of big plans when I don't know how they're going to work out. Not even after I go because. You know, a lot of times the doctors will say one thing and then they'll say something else and then they'll sing it to somebody else and then somebody else will say something else. So I'm just depending and trusting in God and asking him to bless me that I'll be able to continue on with no pain, you know. So, and like I said, I don't have any pain, just every now and then. But the stiffness and then sometimes at night, my knees are where they will start aching, but I mean, I can just kind of turn over, and I, I do have a massaging chair, and I would get up and get in my massaging chair, and I have a little massaging hands, massagers, and all kind of stuff, and heating pads, and everything that I need. Uh, the Craig Dickinson said, nice video. Craig said, nice video from Craig. And then mm -hmm. Pamela Watson said, hi, Miss Lena. Hi, Pam. Hi, De Craig. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good, Craig. I heard from you a week or so ago. I was wondering what happened to you. I haven't heard back from you again. So may God bless you. And I appreciate you coming in tonight to say hello also. And Pam Watson said, hi, Miss Lena. Hmm. Pam said, hi, Miss Lena. Well, hello, then. How are you doing? So I hope you all, all, all are doing fine. But she said, praying for you. Okay. I, I sure thank you because I need it. I need all the prayers I can get to keep me going every day. And God has been good to me. And I'm very blessed. Pam said, I have I have new diagnosis, too. Pam said she have a new diagnosis, too. Okay. Left thumb was getting stuck. Oh, really? Oh, wow. I mean, God bless you as well, you know. Because I know every, you know, it's you, you don't really know what's going on with people. But, you know, I ask God to bless everybody that's on my YouTube channel. And I know that the, God, the blessing of God is going to go around all of us, you know. But we have to pray for one another and just know that God's blessing is going to be up on all of us as we go from day to day and hour to hour from one time to another. So thanks for the prayers, and I'll keep you in mind as I usually do. I ask God when I lay down my head tonight, every night, I say, God, please bless all of my YouTube. I, those that I know by name, those that I don't know by name, bless them all. She says it's called trigger thumb. She says it's called trigger thumb, painful. I have to wear a spleen coming from for, from Texas. Okay. She says, coming from Texas. You know, I had somebody was telling me that years ago. I heard some. I had somebody that was used to tell me that they were having that. She I said, think. yes. And uh, I think that might be what Cherie might be missing with also. I don't know because she does that all the time. Mine's come from, uh, I probably have that too, but mine's coming from being cooking and cutting so many years well, in this kitchen know. cutting cutting I, I, everything i hold i hold with a tight grip so well i have a tight grip because i always picking i'm always picking up stuff and heavy stuff and all kind of things you know and through the years i've always lifted stuff and had to handle stuff and always uh putting up racks and taking down racks and doing this and doing all kind of things like that so she said yes that too and by me doing all those things in my hands i do have a lot of problem with them now you know even driving sometimes my hands kind of get get where they don't want to fold i don't even that's why i try to be real careful when i'm in the kitchen when i'm cooking because i don't know when these pans and pots are awfully heavy when they are filled and I don't want to try to drop one or something on my on my feet or on, uh, just drop them. Period. Because so I try to be very protective of myself in moving them around. 
and I try to watch the weight of the pots and pans that I buy also because a lot of times there's no one here to lift them for me and I have to do them by myself and they'll feel and a lot of times they're hot and uh, it makes a difference but at least the stove is not too far from the table where I would uh, on the drain from work and set it. Pam, I hope you get better. God bless you and praying for you to get better with your your thumb. Yes. I know it's painful. Yeah. Like I said, my fingers, my all of my fingers do it, both hands. But like this from all the years of gripping knives for years. She said, thank you so much. But I know God is able to do anything because God doesn't fail. And I know that he will keep it worked out and, and keep, you know, keep us all going. That's one of the things I do know. And I, But I know that pain is something else when I see people with it. Even when I have a little pain, I know it's something else. And I don't have it regular, but I thank God for me not having it regular. She said exactly. Because if I didn't, I'd have to take a whole lot of pills every day. But thankfully, thank to God that actually I only, I take a pill for my arthritis when I have to have it. Because they make me sleepy and tired. And I do a lot of driving. And I just try to stay with my thyroid pill, which I have a thyroid problem. And then I have in the... And my blood pressure. Those are the main pills that I try to make sure that I get every day. I don't try not to take any more unless I have to. I might do a little rubbing, like I said, I do in my in my massage and chair and all those things that I have. I work with those things. Pam, do they have your own pain pills? Huh? Or asking her, do they have do the doctor have on pain pills? On me? No. Oh, are you asking Pam, her if yeah. she's on pain pills? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. asking Pam if she's on pain pills. Uh, she said yes. She's on pain pill. So sorry to hear that. But well, we pray to God, heal it, and make it better. Yep. Yeah. Well, I tell you, honey, just keep on praying because God is the answer and He will heal. Because I do know He is a healer. Please believe me. I've had so, I've gone through so many healings in my lifetime. So many, so many. And I, one time God told me years, I mean, the devil said many, the doctor told me many years ago, if you don't take this pill, you're going to be dead by the time you, by the time you 50. Yeah, right. So I done passed 50, I'm almost about to make another 50, but I'm still here. So Pam said, thank you so much. And the doctor's gone. Pam and, said, thank you so much. So you're so welcome, darling. But please believe me, God is the answer. And I do know he will heal. The healing, and I said, just never say that it's not going to heal. It can be so painful sometimes that you just you just want to do whatever. But just say, God, I know that you're here, and I know that you're the healer. And I thank you for the healing, you know. Just constantly give him the praises and just let, as it, you know, and it says the, uh, the praises go up, the blessings come down. So we have to remember that. And that's one of the things I do. I pray all through the night. I wake up and I do pray. And I have to ask God to keep me and keep my body so I can make it the next day. Pam, Pam said yes. So just keep lifting up. Uh, look to the hills from where it cometh I help. Because I kept coming from God. And I know that for years and years I've had to do that. And I thank God that I know that he has healed my body so many times, so many, many times. And I'm thankful that I am where I am today. Like I said, I, I just praise God every day because I'm not a 24-7 painful person. And I thank God for that because I could be in pain 24-7, but I thank God that I'm not. And I thank, and I'll ask God for all you people that's in uh, pain like that, ask God to, you know, just pass the pain away and just let you see a, a, a day, a days without pain, you know? And just knowing that the days are going to come, that the pain is not going to be there anymore. Wake up in the morning and say, no pain today. But feel it. But, you know, sometimes the, and it, when you start doing that, sometimes the pain gets stronger and stronger. I'm a living witness to that. But eventually, just keep that in mind. Lord, I thank you. Because I have no pain now. today. Please. 
I have no pain today. I have no pain today. I mean, you can be paining to you like you're going to pass out. But just say, Lord, I thank you. I have no pain today. Keep on every time that pain hit. Say, Lord, I thank you because I have no pain today. Because you know God, you know he's not in the pain. P, y'all still on? Does everybody still on? <laughs> Pam said amen. I guess they hear me talking, so they, everybody's listening quiet. Everybody's gotten very quiet and they start to listening, but that is a word that I do know. I have no pain. And a lot of times I tell God, I have no pain. I have no pain, and I may have a little bit, but after a while I walk off and I don't have no pain. Because I'm believing and trusting I don't have no pain. It Lisa. just moves on over. Move on out. Lisa Mom said, amen. Yes, listening. Grandmama said, yep, she's still on. Okay. All right, y'all. We're not going to be on that much longer. I know it's uh, Thursday night, and I know everybody. I know most people that work have to get up and go to work in the morning. And I know that. So, you know. I just like to chat a little bit and let you guys chat with me a little bit. Hey, Ida Owens. She says she's watching from Waywood City, California. Oh, hi. How you doing, Ida? Hi. Well, it's so nice to have you, Miss Ida. And I'm and, and from I know it's pretty warm in California, but I'm hoping that you uh, will continue to watch my channel. I appreciate you coming in so much, and I hope you will be following me. All the way on some of my uh, videos. I don't know if you, how many of you saw. Or, uh, this is your first time just walk, tuning in to see me, or maybe before you've already checked it out. So if you're not, if you haven't, please do so. I would love to have you. And anytime you always feel like you're able to come in, come in and say hello because I'm on live on Thursday night at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, and also Friday night. At 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. She said she good. Uh, she said she good. Okay. All right then. Good. So, and I, and then you never know. Just get, push your notification button. Because you never know when I may come on. For a short time. Just to say hello. And maybe show you something a little bit different. Appreciate you so much. And I love you for coming in. And I always know that you're a member of Miss Lena, uh, Lena's Kitchen family. All right. Thank you so much. Bell P said, yeah, I'm still, yes, I'm still listening. Pam yeah. said, awesome. Pam said, awesome. Bell P said, yes, I'm still listening. Mm. Bell P said, yes, I'm still listening. Okay. And, wa and she was washing. Okay, yeah. Bell P said, she washing. Well, okay. And, uh, and Pam said, Ida said, I want to know your, she want to know your tea cakes. Do you have a recipe of Ida tea cake recipe? It's very delicious. She said she washing some dishes. Okay. Ida said she want to know your. Well, tell her to check the video from last year, because that's when we made them. I think it was last year. Around Christmas time in yeah, December. Yeah. So yeah. Tell her go back down the line for about what would it be nine almost a year now. So about eight or nine months ago, there's one. And I'm hopefully I'll be able to get. Oh, your phone finna go dead. Huh? Your phone finna go dead. You ain't got nothing on me. No. Oh Lord have mercy. Then two. Uh, what can I make it back there? Oh, she said she have hers. Oh goodness gracious! Ooh, I'm sorry. I forgot about the have much time on it. Oh, you make tea cakes, Ida? Y'all, hold on. She trying to hear him get back for a phone call. There. She be right back, y'all. Talk to see she come back. Hey, y'all. Hey. She trying to hear him get back for a phone call. There. Hey, since y'all don't hardly get to see me now. Oh, she said she have her own uh, tea cake recipe, I guess. Okay. Maybe I might try hers then. How so? Yeah. All right. There is Miss Lena back. <laughs> hey, Pam. 
Okay. Okay, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So, it's maybe I might try her recipe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You have a YouTube channel, Ida? Did she say she had not she said she didn't work in California. Redwood. Ridgewood. Redwood. Redwood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where's Redwood from where? From Los Angeles, huh? I don't know. Anyway, you know. She said, I love cooking and I am old school. She said she loved cooking and she old school. Oh, she loved cooking? And she's old school. She cook old school. Okay. She does have a channel. She didn't say she had a channel. Do you have a channel, I, I, Ida? Yeah. Maybe she'll come back and tell you in Sometimes I know my thing's working slower because it said my was, what is the 22nd? Man, when we back in the pool, blessed into the 22nd. So that's why my ain't slowed down right now. It's not 80% gone. And when the 22nd come back, I'm supposed to be back on the pool. Trying. Pam says she too. She old school cooking too. Oh, okay. Good. So I got a lot of them cooking old, old school cooking then. All right. I enjoy that because they know what's good. And they know what isn't good. <laughs> you turn the light off, please. So Okay. But they know what's good. That's that makes a difference for for you when y'all come on. So you know if you're used to cooking, that makes Oh, is that good? Oh my goodness, what a pain, yeah, I tell you. Okay, you back on. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Her phone did a read with did a uh three therapy three people on. Okay. Oh, they went through an update. They did an update on it. Yeah. They went to update on it. So sorry, y'all. Her phone did an update right in the middle of her live. <laughs> That's really something. I've never had that to happen. Yeah, that was weird. So was anything weird. can happen. So you know, it was weird. So it's. <laughs> So much going down. Mm-hmm. That was weird. Mm. Yes, did a whole update by itself. I thought it was seven thirty. Pam said it's okay. <laughs> oh, that's really something. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> How in the world are they decided to do that all in one so mm -hmm. well I guess it was just time for it to do it so they I had guess so done. sorry about that y'all her phone did an update right in the middle of her doing a live better tonight than tomorrow yeah anyway we ain't gonna be on that much longer anyway. About to be eight o'clock. I didn't know it was about to be eight. Huh? Oh, well, I thought it was seven thirty. Cause this thing just saying you've just been on an hour and twenty nine minutes. Well, I guess I thought it was seven thirty. But then you get on. Oh no, you got on at six thirty. That's why. You didn't get on at at, at six. You got on six thirty. So that's that's about right. I got me to 6.30. Almost close to 6.30, yeah. Okay. So I've been on for one hour? The hour and 30 minutes. Well, it's 8 o'clock now? Yeah, it's going to be 8 o'clock. It's 7.51. Okay. Yeah, that's why I said we ain't going to be on here too much longer. I don't know what. Maybe we're gonna, I don't know what we're talking about after that now. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was asking uh, Ida about her California, where she lived in California. I'm she sure. told you where she lived in California when she first came on. I know it, but I was asking how far did she live. 
you know what I'm saying? Because you know, we didn't get that out because yeah. she cut out. Yeah. So she's probably got knocked out anyway. Y'all, we finna get ready to say good night. It's gonna be eight o'clock our time, and we finna get ready to say good night. Got a lot to do tomorrow, tonight. So we finna get ready to get off of here, and um, we'll see y'all tomorrow night at six o'clock Central Time. Okay, and may God bless you all. To have a wonderful night, and uh, Miss. Pam, who is the head of the Pam. Uh, Pam. Pam. Okay. And Miss Pam, I pray that God will look down upon your hand and your thumb and let you rest peaceful tonight. Because I know God <laughs> can do it and God will do it. And I just pray and ask God to send the angels around you so you can have a peaceful night without pain because God is able. Look up to the hills from which cometh thy help. Your help cometh from the Lord. Just know that I'm going to lay down in peace and I'm not going to have pain tonight. And I really, really believe that. And I'm going to believe it for you because I'm going yes. to stand in proxy. Oh, and I yes. know that God has peace for your yes, rest yes, and yes. peace for your hand oh, yes. as well as for my body and whoever else may be listening to the channel right now that might be in pain. May God relieve the pain of everybody that might be in pain at this particular time. Because yes. I come before God with you guys, and I know yes. that he can heal, Lord and I know that he hear my yes. prayers. Yes. And may they be an ever blessing to each one of you that might need to be healed in pain and may have a peaceful night of peace and out of pain and sleep. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yes. I speak peace to the body right now. Peace to the mind yes, and yes. healing in the Spirit of God. Oh, yes. And let the Spirit of God fall upon you guys right now, wherever you may be and whatever you may do. May the peace yes, be with you yes. all night, all to the day, all the rest of the time. And I thank you, Father, for the Holy Ghost falling up on them right yes, now. Yes. In the name of Jesus. And this comes from Miss Lena to you all, all of my family on my channel. May God be a wonderful blessing and let you all have peace. Everybody has been on tonight and not on. May you all be peace in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I thank you with all of my love from Miss Lena's kitchen. Good night to all and to all. May God bless you. Bye bye. Bye, y'all. Have a good, good. Bye, bye. See bye. y'all tomorrow at six o'clock Central Time. All right. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Whew.